Hi, I'm Bill A from Warner's Innovations. Um, as well as creating dream bathrooms and wet rooms, we also do maintenance in plumbing, tiling and electrics. A lot of bathroom maintenance as well, where customers come in to us and they say that my grout's discolouring or my sealant is discolouring. And the first thing we'll ask them is, have you got an extractor? Now, a lot of people think it's down to poor quality grouts or sealants, but in fact, it's actually down to, in most cases, the extractor, which is up there. So today, I'm gonna to show you how you can do a simple test to test your extractor is working and how to clean it if you feel competent. Now, I must stress, it's electric, so it can be very dangerous, so only touch this if you feel competent and you know about safe isolation. So let's get into it. So one of the simplest ways to test an extractor, which everybody will be competent to do, is this, the toilet roll test. So all you need to do is rest it up against your extractor, hold it there, and it should suck against it. Now, if it drops off, the law of averages is that your extractor is either clogged up with dust or it's faulty. So I'm gonna show you how to clean this out. The first thing we'll do is isolate the fan, which you can see up here with a fan isolator. Now the fan has stopped running. Now we're gonna take the face off and we're gonna do a couple of tests to make sure that it is correctly isolated and there's no current going to it. The face has been removed and as you can see, the dust build up in that extractor is heavy. And also in the grill, there's really a lot of build up in there. So we're gonna now show you to test that this is safely isolated. And then we can do this with a bolt stick, which show there's no current traveling to there because it would illuminate and would also do this with our multimeter. Testing for any current. And we can see that there is 0 0.005 volts going to it. So we know that that's safe to work on. If you have a basic understanding of electrics and feel competent, then you can disconnect the fan like so, and you can make sure that you give it a real thorough clean out inside and the grill and vent that is external on the building. So always take the mesh netting out what goes against the external grill. You can just wash this out and dry it and then it should be nice and clean. So once you've thoroughly cleaned everything out and assembled it in reverse order, we can now put the fan isolator back on. And now we can do the toilet roll test. And we can clearly see that it's sucking the toilet roll and really giving a better extraction. At Warner's, we're all about problem solving. It's one of our core values and fundamental to our business. If you found real value in this, give us the thumbs up and we'll keep doing more videos.